Good morning, all my funky junk friends. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to say pause for two seconds. I need to shut my door. My husband's asleep next door, and I didn't shut it. Um, and me talking will wake him up. I apologize for jumping up. So, there we go. Got that done. You guys, I have all kinds of fun stuff to do today. I don't know if you've been watching um, Pat from Unique. She's doing a really cute little project. I just love it. But I have some fun things that I need to do for uh, my mom, you guys. Yesterday, yesterday when I was live, I did this for her. She called. She needed a um, St. Patty's Day door hanger. I've started working on the back. I know I told you guys yesterday that we were going to do Easter on the back. If we have time, we're going to finish this guy up, um, which we should be able to um, get everything done. All right. So today, hello, Angela. Let's just make sure we're in, a, in our right spot here um, right quick. If I can get off of here. Um, I'm just kind of drying these. I went ahead and did the backs of these. But anyway, what I was saying was um, doing some projects for my mom and for my aunt. They have board meeting. They do an acapella barbershop, a women's barbershop choir. And um, they have board coming up So um, this Wednesday. So, of course, they asked if I could... Um, make them a couple things so anyway hello miss lisa hello cheryl you guys uh cheryl's up after me and then up after her is heart's desire which is lisa so we have mnc treasures next and then heart's desire after that um, all my buddies all my buddies hey leslie hello hello okay so here's what i've got going on okay for my aunt gail she wanted some little party favors i cut these little um horseshoes out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this little shamrock on the bottom just to kind of lay on the table. So um, I did the backs of them gold, so I'm going to do the tops of them gold. It just takes a couple minutes to put them on here. So while everybody's hopping on, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys painted. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make some little signs, some six by six, five and a half by five and a half, really. Um signs that we are going to put some um, hymnal papers on. We're going to decoupage those on because, uh, you know, it's her barbershop group. So isn't that a pretty gold? It's just, um, it's just the um, brushed metal, um, brushed gold. Right there it is. So I think it's a pretty gold and I like how it really, hello, Grace, I love how it actually covers up. Sometimes your metallics seem to uh, be a little bit on the thin side and they don't always cover up real well. But this gold seems to do really, really well. So, you guys, so stick, you know, stay with me today. I'm going to jump around from project to project. I'm just going to paint two of these. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and uh, watch me paint all five. If we end up having time at the end, I will go ahead and paint the other three. But for right now, I'm going to sit them over here. And we're going to flip two of these guys over and um, paint them. Like I said, I painted the back so that if it got flipped over, um, you could see it. So let's sit those there. Let's get my green. I'm just using makeup wedges and because I find that the easiest on these little cutouts, you don't get too much paint. You also don't pull your brush over from the side and cause, um, you know, a big clump of, of paint hanging on the side. So that way you don't have to worry about painting the sides. Hello, Miss Jackie. She's saying hello to everybody. You guys, we're, uh, I've got a busy schedule today on Craft Around the Clock, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So let's let those dry. All right, so here are our little wood pieces here. I went ahead and put my Valspar, Valspar antiquing glaze on the back, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do the fronts. They each needed five, so I just got my sand or my staining sponge right here. Hello, Jack. Oh, 
Yes, yes. They, um, the, my mom and my aunts have been in this. They're called Harmony Magic here in Indiana. And it's an all-woman's barbershop chorus. And they have been doing that for probably 20 or 30 years. Um, and, you know, I think my mom is on the board. And so uh, they have a board meeting Wednesday. And my mom always has to go above and beyond, you know, and... Uh, Usually what ends up happening is she calls me and she says, Hey, I need a little party favor. So we come up with something cute to uh, pass out to all her little friends. Um, you know, something fun for them to take home at Christmas. I can't remember what we did at Christmas. I was trying to remember. And for the life of me, I can't remember. But I'm just wiping this antiquing glaze just to give me a base right here. And then we're going to take some hymnal papers. And yes, I'm going to put the hymnal papers over this dark wood because I think it'll be all right. And then we're going to stencil um, some cute little uh, phrases for um, St. Patty's Day. A little six by six stencils. So um, we're going to do that. So let's just dry this a little bit. I have my hymnal papers dead right down here on the floor. And what I thought I would do is I would rip them and kind of put them in the center here, okay? And then maybe put some, um, we'll see what it looks like after we get it on there. Um, maybe put some, um, oh, you know, the, the ink. <sighs> My mind's blank. Um, over it to give it a little bit of texture. And then what I was going to do is I was going to take a couple of these that say like lucky and well last, I'm the luckiest, and just put five different sayings on these. So, good morning. Thank you, Amy, for spreading the, the funk out there. Everybody saying hello to everybody. Yeah, it's kind of fun, it's kind of neat. It's fun to go watch them all sing and, and do all their fun stuff. They uh, absolutely love it, um, so. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. So these just let me dry just a little bit more. Um, and then our horseshoes, like I said, these are for my Aunt Gail to pass out. These little signs are for my mom to pass out. And like I said, if we get time, we'll do the back of my mom's St. Patty's door hanger we did yesterday. There's the Pat St. Patty's door hanger we did for her yesterday so I wanted to put Easter on the back because I really like to double side a lot of my stuff so that it doesn't you know it doesn't go to waste you know you've got a whole nother surface on the back of a lot of your projects and you know nobody wants to waste that okay so that's pretty dry so I'm just going to start putting these on now I'm going to use my Liquitex matte medium because I like how it works with my um you know, on paper. I love it with my napkins. Miss Grace from the Comfy Nest is the one that uh, uh, introduced me to this stuff, and I absolutely love it. Now, I'm thinking I'm using a napkin. Look what I'm doing, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some on my paper here, and then I'll just put my, let's do this. Let's do this. I kind of have a brain fart here. It's been a minute since I decoupaged. Let's just get some of this on here. I was thinking I was doing a napkin, so I was kind of doing it like I would a napkin where I just kind of put it on top because it soaks through. Now this is paper, it won't soak through quite as easily. So let's just put some on there and then we'll just slap it on our board here like this. And then any, you know, go, kind of go over the top a little bit just to give it, um, you know, make sure it's down real good and get all our little edges right here. And we're going to let that dry so that we can stencil over it. Um, there we go. Simple, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That right there looks cool already. It's like I said, since they do the barbershop thing, I thought it would be really fun to do that. So how I did that was I just ripped my paper right along this edge right here. And of course, since it's an old hymnal, it rips super duper easy. But I like to do the, the um, ripped edges. I don't like my edges to be, you know, straight across there. I think it just um, adds a little something extra. Look, I've got wax all over my hands. 
adds a little something extra there. So um, kind of cool. Now I do know in the Nappy Lovers Club that Grace has, um, I think it was last couple months ago, I can't remember exactly when. I'm gonna cut double paper. Um, she actually sent us a ruler, which was really cool, to uh, make a funny edge on so that when we rip these, they would have like, you know, zigzags and stuff across there. Um, of course, mine's over there, so <laughs> I can't do it because it's over there. So now these two papers will be look, look the same because I ripped them together. But how I'll do that is I'll put one on like this and then I'll flip the other one wrong way and upside down on the other. So we just need one more real quick and we'll have these while that dries. And like I said, I'm making five because uh, they asked for five of them. And we won't do all five of them right here. So there, yes, the tear rulers. There's the word I couldn't think of. Well, I was saying tear ruler, but it just wasn't sounding right coming out of my mouth. Okay, so there we go with that. This one is um, done and it's drying. So here we go. So let's just put some, some of this on here. Do it a little simpler. I don't know what I was thinking a few minutes ago, you guys. I had a moment there. Sometimes, sometimes we have moments. And I'm just going all the way to the edge. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just putting that on there and then just uh, pushing this down. You guys all know how to do this. You guys all know how to do this. So um just put a little bit on my brush just like that and just get it so it's stuck down right there we go there we go and then like I said we're going to stencil over the top and uh, maybe add some antiquing and things like that so see right there and again I'm not going to bore you with doing all of them so we'll just do two of them so I'll set those right there we're going to let those dry right there we're going to jump back we're going to jump back to our horseshoes right here because they feel like they're pretty dry and very simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy right here. Look at this. Cut these out. I'm going to use my stick fast glue right here. I'm going to put some glue on here just like that. And I'm just going to stick this right down here in the middle. And see, she can just lay this on the table or on their plate for their dinner. And it's just a fun little thing to have, you know, sitting in your dough bowl or, or wherever. I think I'm going to turn that to the side like that. Kind of like it like that. Simple, easy peasy, like I said. Like I said, easy peasy. So, and here I'll show you why I did both sides. Let me hold that for a second and let that dry. Yeah. You like the tear rulers? I don't like the str I don't like straight edges either. I definitely don't like straight edges. I need to get that ruler out. I actually have it right right over there with my napkin stuff. I just have not made it and I need to do that. But see, look, just a fun little fun little thing to sit on your table for St. Patty's Day. Very simple. Very simple. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so this is getting pretty close to being dry. Um, not all the way, but just uh, pretty close. So um, let's go ahead and dry that a little bit and then we will stencil on one of them. And then we'll jump over to, we'll just, we're just gonna go all over the place, you guys, all over the place. So bear with me getting all this fun stuff done. So, um, you know, mama asks, you gotta do what mama wants you to do, so. Um, it's bubbled up right there. There we go. She might be on here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's just something fun to give, you know, give to their little, their, I keep calling them little friends. They're not little, they're grown women. <laughs> but I keep saying they're little friends to give to their little friends. I've lost my mind. Okay. All right. So let's jump over to this and let's put on... Let's just put this one on first. Now, if you'll notice, um, some of this shamrock will be off of my music notes, and that's okay with me. I think that just adds another dimension to what you're doing. 
Um, and it doesn't have to be straight or anything crazy like that. Just put them on there and these will be just fun little signs for um, them to take home with them. So I'm just gonna grab a stencil brush and I'm just gonna use regular old Christmas green because that's what I actually have some right here already where we did the shamrocks. Now I'm gonna put paint on my brush, okay? And then I'm going to uh, swirl it around because I wanna get that paint up in my bristles. I don't want it sitting on the ends because that's what causes your bleed through. I want my brush to look super dry. And um, you can always take a napkin or something and kind of get some of the excess off right there. And then here we go. Now I may have to do a couple coats because this does have that medium on there, um, which is fine. Uh, one of the things I will say is because I use that Liquitex and I have this napkin on here, or not napkin, I am just napkined in the head here. Because I have this decoupage on here, I definitely will take, oh my gosh, I moved it. It's okay, we can set it right back on, no big deal. I am going to put some clear coat on it just so that if it gets wet or you know somebody touches it or something like that, it doesn't get, um, you know, bubble up or, or get kind of crazy looking or anything like that. So we fixed that real fast. Now we'll see what that looks like and see if we need to put uh, another coat on, you know, cause I don't mind the, the uh, music notes showing through, but look at that. Isn't that cute? So cute, so cute. Gonna finish it. I'm gonna take my stencil brush and I'm gonna go around this edge and you can just barely see it, but I'm gonna go around it with the green just to add another um, element to making it look like it's, you know, really jumps out at you, you know? So see that? Isn't that cool? Now, I could put something on the back and actually I was thinking about stenciling um, some music information on the back. Um, Essential Stencil actually has and I pulled them out because I was thinking about it a few months ago in the stencil of the month. They had music notes and little fun things like I will sing and make music um, and make music with all my soul. And I could just put that on the back and then they could use this sign every day. So I may do that. I don't know. We'll have to see because they let me know at the last minute. So they need these by Wednesday. <laughs> So we'll see if we have time. Okay, let's do the lucky and blessed. On this one, it's pretty dry right there. So then this way, everybody could have a different different saying or, um, you know, it doesn't have to, uh, they won't all be the same. They'll all be a little bit different, you know. Now see, I didn't get my sign or my stencil all the way on and that little curly cue went off the side of my um, board but I'm not gonna fret about it. It'll be just fine. Nobody will notice. Probably if I wouldn't have said anything, you guys probably wouldn't have even noticed either, but I said something. <laughs> so see how quick and easy, just fun little silly signs. One long one by six, just cut it up into little sections and it'll just sit just like that. So it's uh, got their music stuff, but it also has, um, St. Patty's thing, you know? So I'm gonna sit these over here and uh, let them get good. Oh, let's do around the edge of this one. I, I definitely wanna do that, I just forgot. We'll go right around this edge right here. And I just think that looks cute. I just think this just adds something to it. As our friend Shanna from Frame It and Containment, Contain It says, this just frames in your project. Just frames it right in. Fun little quick project, fun, easy, fast, get her done. So let's sit that over there. Now I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna, let's get this guy out. This is what I plan to do with this, okay? I need to get some wire, I drove holes in it. Like I said, this is on the one side. We're gonna do um, Easter on this side. This is just your Waverly antiquing wax. 
that I put on there. And here is what we're going to put on. This adorable little spring stencil that says, hop on in right there with them fun little bunnies. I love the bunnies. I've been wanting to do this one forever. Hello, hello. That's tomorrow. What is tomorrow? I must have missed something. I must have missed something. So, okay. So what I did was my bunnies are going to want to be up here in my hop on and then we'll we'll pull those out and sit this right there so my hop on in is going to fit right in here okay and then my little bunnies are going to be like they're hanging over the top okay so that's why i kind of separated that off so what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up this uh tape right here and we are going to put it down here, and I'm going to paint that center section pink. And then um, we're going to do we're going to do pink, and then we're going to do this color letters for the hop on in. We'll do our bunnies white, and then we've got our carrots and our eggs and all that we can put on here too. So I thought that would be just a fun little fun little thing to put on the back of here. So I'm going to do that pink right there. So I'm just going to get get us some um, pink on here. And grab me a brush right there. Now when you're doing your tape, pull down from your tape. Don't go back up. That's how you can get a little bit of bleed through. And you don't want to have a ton of paint on your brush. You want just, you know, um, you just don't want a ton of paint on your brush. Now, if if our lines end up being a little bit wonky and that bothers you, all you gotta do is grab your paint pen and draw a little line there. Um, put, uh, you know, just to even it up. So don't, uh, don't worry if it doesn't come out exactly how you want it. It's always fixable. And if you absolutely can't stand it, you can always sand it and paint over it. Um, got pink on the side right there so you can always uh you know sand it and paint over it or whatever i love using salt wash salt wash is good for um projects that you want to paint over because it thickens up the paint and it just covers it real well so if you do something you don't really care for just don't don't fret just do it again so, and most of the time, you guys, we're, the, we're our own critics, you know, we're the hardest on ourselves. And a lot of times, um, things that we see that are wrong, other people don't see, you know. So most of the, most of the time, what you think doesn't look good, other people think, or think looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this off. I like to take my tape off when my paint's still a little bit wet because then it's not dried and pulls a whole big chunk up or something like, what color of pink? This is light pink. It's an apple barrel multi-surface light pink. Um, that's the pink there. It's a pretty pink. It's almost like the ballet pink from Waverly. Um, if you follow me, you know that I have been trying my very best to use up all of my paints and stuff. So I've had that one, I've probably had that one for a while. Um, not positive though. But ladies, I'm getting to the point, I need to go to Hobby Lobby. I need to go get some, um, I need to go pick up some different colored paints. I'm almost out of my different colored green paints. Um, there was a couple other colors. I need to write it down because if I don't, I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I tend to do. Tend to do that. Buy more than I need. But trying to use up what I have. So what is cool about this stencil, you guys, that I absolutely love? We'll put our bunnies on, but it also has the little faces to put on our bunnies when we're done. So that's going to be so cute. So cute. I've been dying to do this stencil, and I just haven't haven't done it so I thought it'd be perfect on the back of this one so um, you know like I said I wanted to do Easter on the back for her so but I just kind of want their little feet just to be like they're 
they're hanging over this board. Um, you see what I mean? See how I just want their little feet hanging over like that. Okay, I think that's going to be cute. They're so cute. Now, what I'm going to do, because this is such a big area to stencil, I don't tape a lot, but um, this I'm going to tape to make sure I, I keep it held down real good. Um, and I don't want it to move from um, that little lip right there. So I kind of want to make sure it's in the middle, but if not, it's okay. I'm going to put that right there. And um, now we're going to grab some white. Now I don't, oh, I'm about out of this white. This one's in, about empty. I like to use the Rust-Oleum Chalked Paint. I buy it at Menards or Lowe's, and um, I use, I put it in the FIFO bottles. It's a little bit cheaper. Look at my hands, you guys. Look at my hands. I'm a filthy mess. I'm a filthy mess. Okay, again, I'm going to run, get my paint up in my bristles of my brush. Um, I have so much stuff on my table, you guys. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Now, see how this is sticking up just a tish, you guys? See how the little the little pieces are sticking up there? Make sure you hold those down when you stencil. See that? And just kind of, you can just kind of brush from the edges, and that will help help you not get not get up underneath the stencil. So um, I like to, a lot of times when I'm going in my circular motion, I go right along my edges here and don't pull off of my edge so that I kind of am pushing it down with my brush too. Um, and that helps for my stencil to stay down. You know what I mean? So just takes practice. It's not hard to stencil. I know a lot of people get really nervous when they want to stencil, um, but it isn't hard. You just got to practice. And the best thing to practice on is your Amazon boxes or, oh gosh, don't move it like that. Um, you know, you could stencil on paper. You can stencil in a journal book. You know, you don't have to get a sign out and stencil on a piece of wood if you don't um, want to. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So there's our little bunny. I think he looks cute, he or she, I don't know. What are we doing? Yes, Thursday, Lisa from Heart's Desire and I will be on YouTube. Every other Thursday, me and her go over on YouTube and do a project, and we are gonna crackle this week. That is gonna be our, um, we always pick out something to do. We've done salt wash, we've done unicorn spit, um, we've just painted, we've done all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, I have never crackled with um, Elmer's glue. So we decided that we were gonna do that. Crackle with some Elmer's glue. So um, I always buy the crackle medium and I see everybody using the Elmer's glue and I uh, so I bought some, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do today, this week on YouTube. Oh, gosh, don't move that. Don't move that. So make sure you hold your stencil down or tape it all the way around if you need to. I'm just kind of being mindful where that sticks up a little bit. I'm kind of going over his ears again. So it doesn't have to be completely covered. I'm, I'm okay if it's just a little bit. Now I did get a little bleed through, but I'm all right with that. It's not gonna hurt a darn thing. So we're gonna dry that. We're a hoot to watch on, on YouTube. We have fun. We definitely have fun over on YouTube. So um, exciting stuff usually always is happening over there. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna let them dry. Um, Oh, let me see. I wish there was a follow button on commenters page when commenting. It would be easier to follow those we don't know. Um, I thought there was, you know what, I don't see it either. There for a while they were putting a um, follow button right there when you comment and stuff, but I don't know. It seems like stuff's always changing, so you just never know. Okay, so I hop on in. I'm just making sure that my word is on my board. I'm just filling in that pink spot right there. I'm gonna grab another piece of tape. 
like I said, I use my tape over and over, so um, just kind of hold that in place. How are we doing on time? Or did it get on time? Okay, and I'm going to use this beautiful aqua. It's just plain old aqua. Right here, I'm going to stir it up a little bit. I'm going to spin my cardboard around. I'm running out of room over here. Got all kinds of goodies happening. I just thought this would be a pretty color to put with this. Um, just grab another stencil brush. There we go. And again, just working that paint up into my bristles. Um, it's better to use a thicker paint than a lighter paint um, or a thinner paint uh, because, you know, it's less runny that way. Um, but you can use the lighter, uh, you know, the thinner paints and stuff. You just got to be mindful of what you're doing and make sure you get all the excess paint off. You know, because you don't want it to just run. You want it to just, you're kind of dry brushing when you're stenciling. So, everything I learned about stenciling, you guys, I learned from Miss Grace from the Comfy Nest. Um, she was one of the very first uh, crafters that I started watching religiously. Um, and I still watch her. I'm in uh, all of her little membership clubs and all that kind of stuff she has is she's so helpful so she is who I learned how to she was one of the first ones that I watched stenciling and then um you know then kind of went from there but she was the first one that I started watching so there we go look at that you guys look at, hop on in come on in come on in and join the fun Let's get our faces on. I can't stand it. I want my faces on my my little bunnies right here. So let's go right in here. Now see on this stencil it has little etching to follow to get it right on top of your other stencil. So we can definitely do that. Now here we go with the fun stuff. All right I'm going to use makeup wedges because I'm gonna do some different colors, okay? So I'm just gonna grab another makeup wedge here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my pink. There's my pink. Let's do the ears pink. Um, and the little nose pink, okay? So that's what the makeup wedges are good for, um, to get into little spots like that. But you can also use like a little piece of cardboard to make sure you don't um, get it on something that you don't want it on, okay? So, see, I'm just dabbing it on there just like that. See that? And I'm using that same pink that I used on the this part down here. So, now we have, I don't know if we'll have time today, but um, I have, it has, with this stencil comes little carrots, and different fun little things like that. So let's do this little nose pink. Your little noses are pink, right? So fun. And like I said, you can tape all this off if you want to, or you can just do what I'm doing right there. Now, the rest of it I think should be black except for the little flower. We'll do the little flower here in a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my little um, makeup wedge don't want to waste anything, right? Not on the creator we are watching. I mean, the business pages that are watching. Yeah, there used to be, there used to be um, little follow buttons like that, that when you were watching somebody, I don't know, um, I don't know, that might, maybe that went away on the last update. I don't, oh my goodness, you guys. I'm not sure, but used to, um, it had a little follow button, but I don't see it on my phone or my iPad. So, um, when I'm watching, sometimes it says that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So, anyway. All right. So, I just dab that off. All right. And let's do the little whiskers here. Now, you can use your stencil brush. I don't know why I'm choosing to do it this way. I don't normally do this. I usually use my stencil brush. I was using them to do the uh, 
because I felt like I was going to have a bunch of stuff up close, but now that I'm looking at it, I really don't. So I could have used my stencil brush. I just thought it might be a little simpler this way. But um, I figured you would be fine using, using your um, stencil brush. So now be careful and don't go off your stencil onto your board and then you'd have a, like a line right there. So make sure you're mindful of where you're where you're dabbing your stuff on. So I think it moved on me right there. Okay, so let's get this little thing and let's do this part. It's little lips right there. Oh my gosh, I think this is so cute. Her little lips. Let's see what that looks like so far. Yes, love it, love it, love it. Now, I didn't do her eyes. I could do her eyes black, or we could do like a surprise. And um, let's grab a like a light blue, like a blue here. Let's do this color of blue, and let's make her eyes that color of blue, just uh, just for something a little bit different. If I can get some paint out of here, right there like that. Let's cut some of this off right here. And let's do her eyes blue so they just kind of pop, you know? So just line your stencil back up on there. Whoops. Sometimes it takes a minute to line it back up. And then we need to do her little flower. Um, that's probably good enough right here. Give her some blue eyes. Oh, that's a bright blue. I love it. Love it. Look at that, you guys. Look how bright that blue is. See, isn't that cute? Hop on in. Cute. I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay, so let's put this right back on here again. And it has. she has a little flower right there. So let's do her flower. Um, let's, I should have got paint out. I don't know why I didn't get the different colored paints. Let's do a yellow and um, and an orange center. I mean, why not? We need orange for our carrots anyway. So let's just do a little um, little bit of yellow here. See, I just keep cutting cutting my um, foam pieces and makeup. What just what are we doing? Did I go over? No, you guys. I don't know. I can't. I can't add time. I keep looking at my watch thinking, oh no, I've gone over. Oh no, I've gone over. <laughs> okay, so let's make sure I don't get yellow on the ear. Okay. Or on his eye, on her eyes. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Because you can't see it real well, but it's there. There we go, looky. Lucky, hop on in. I think this is adorable. Now, the stencil also comes with little carrots and um, eggs right here. So what I thought about doing was doing an egg right here in the center. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm going to stick with that kind of like our colors that we're going here. I'm going to do this egg, this color right here. And... Um, then we'll do all different, see all the different polka dots that we could put on top of it? We'll put all different colors of polka dots. We'll pull that blue and that yellow and maybe a little orange because we also have a couple carrots here that we can do. So let's grab another, another um, thing right here. And look, I'm just going to kind of put this carrot, let's put them kind of like this right there. And I pulled out orange. Let's get us some orange. Um, right there. Like that. We'll get a little orange on our brush here. And go wipe that off a little. Okay. Let's for our little carrot right there. And let's put one right over here. Right about there. See that? Oh, 
How adorable is that? Now let's go back to some green and let's do the edge, the, you know, the green part on our carrot. Now, if I get some of my uh, green on the orange, I don't care. That kind of stuff doesn't, doesn't phase me, doesn't get me upset or mad, but uh, let's just get some more blue on the green over there. Get some green up on here. Now what's cool about these, it also has the little lines for your carrot. So I could, oh, it's not all the way dry. Let's see. Well, let's just lay it on here. Let's just be careful. Let's just be careful right there, I think is where it needs to be. And I'm just going to use, oh, let's move it and smear it. Christy. Since I don't have a stencil brush in black, I'm just going to use this wedge here. Let's get a little more black, or do I? Nope. Let's get a little bit more black. And I'm just going to go right along like that. See that? And it puts the lines on our carrot. So adorable. So adorable. Right there. Just like that. So see? Now we have little lines on our carrots right there. So cute. I think it's cute. I think it's absolutely cute. So now let's go with some um, colors for our little dots, okay, on our um, uh, little egg right here. So I'm going to lay him on there like that, and I'm just going to kind of use my um, cardboard that I don't know what I did with. And let's just do a couple. Well, actually, we don't need to worry about that. Let's do maybe an orange circle. Yeah, I think I will worry about it. Let's go about right here. Let's grab some more orange right there. Let's do an orange polka dot. Gotta love the polka dots, right? And let's do a yellow one. Let's do maybe one or two yellow ones. To bring out the flower now I could bring that flower back down over here and I we could put um, some of those uh, flowers down here too we could always do that also I like that blue I like that blue let's grab some um, let's grab a dish a little bit of white let's make us a white polka dot right here let's see just like this. See that? And maybe this one right here. Let's cover up the yellow right there. Just like that. And then let's grab this and let's do some pink on these other two. And then we'll call this probably pretty good. Pretty good. So it's looky there. So we've got a little a little uh, egg down there and some carrots and our little hop on in. I think that turned out cute. Now, what I could do is I could get out um, my paint markers and really get some more, um, you know, embellishments and things like that on there. We don't have time for that, so I'm just going to probably stop right there. So here's our hop on in. Um, I know I love the details on the face. I think they're really cute. Guess I know it just. So I think that this turned out really, really cute. I probably will get my paint tins out and, um, you know, work on my carrots and my little egg and stuff down here just to kind of give it a little, little more excitement going on there. This is what we made yesterday. This is what's going to be on the back. Um, I've got that right there. We made these fun, fun little um, horseshoes as a little party favor for my aunt to give away to her barbershop group. And then we did these little signs right here where I put the hymnal and then painted on the uh, uh, stencil on the um, St. Patty's Day uh, stencils. Is that the word I wanna use? Yeah. So I think these turned out cute, just fun little, see mom can set up, you know, her little plate for everybody. And this could maybe be sitting in the middle on the napkin. And then this could be right here and they'd be fun little, fun little gifts for him to take with them. So I think they turned out really cute. 
Um, I'm going to be sorry I only made five of them. I think I might want one to sit downstairs, but uh, <laughs> I'll have to make me one. But I think that turned out really cute, you guys. Up after me is Cheryl from MNC Treasures. Make sure you go check her out. If you don't belong to Craft Around the Clock, make sure you oh, make loud noises. Um, make sure you join Craft Around the Clock because there's crafting around the clock, of course. So, um, oh, you're a feed. Well, you can't pass up feeding the grandbaby. No problem. No problem. So you guys have a fantastic day and um, an even better tomorrow. And I'll be on Thursday on YouTube. Um, Lisa and I will be on my channel this week. So that's the next time I go live, I do believe. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you over on Cheryl's page. Uh, bye bye.